click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and in previous videos we have studied how to calculate or how to transform any type of elementary signals into Laplace domain. Now the today's topic is problems based on the elementary signals. We are going to find out a Laplace transform of elementary signals but these elementary signals are present in a different combinations means what the step response and it, a ramp response may be added together or maybe exponential and the step response may be added together and different types of waveforms or figures are generated so we are going to find out a laplace transform of those different types of figures or waveforms so let's study the problem number one based on the laplace transform of elementary signals <music> Now, in my first problem, what you can see, this graph is a constant, but suddenly, now look at it, I will start from initial, at a 0, your amplitude is increased up to 1, and from 0 to 1, this amplitude is constant, which means you can say that, in 0 to 1, you have a step response, right, but suddenly at 1, this amplitude is again increased by 1, and it is constant till 2, in instant 2. Means what? First of all, whenever such type of questions asked in your exam, basically this question is find the Laplace transform of given graph. So, whenever such type of questions asked in your exam, first of all try to write the equation of this graph. So, I can say that this x of t is having amplitude constant 1 in between 0 to 1, whereas in between 1 to 2 its amplitude is constant which is 2. And in rest of the case its amplitude is 0. This will be my equation. We will solve the Laplace or we will apply the Laplace on this graph and let us see what will be the output of this given graph. So, first of all what I am going to do, I am going to find out the equation of this given graph or the question graph. Now, first of all look at it in graph. In between 0 to 1 its amplitude is constant. So, what I am going to do, the amplitude of x of t is 1 in between 0 to 1. That is 0 is less than equal to 2 is less than equal to 1. Now, in between 1 to 2 its amplitude is constant again but it is increased by 1. That is the total amplitude is 2. So, here I am going to write the total amplitude 2 but the time period is 1 is less than equal to t is less than equal to 2. And this is the integration limits. So, first of all, x of t is integrated over the range of 0 to 1 having amplitude 1. Means what? Instead of writing x of t, we will substitute its amplitude which is 1 when the, our integration limit is 0 to 1. Now, next. In next integration limit is from 1 to 2 where x of t is having amplitude 2. So, we can say that this x of t is integrated twice. First range is 0 to 1 and second range is 1 to 2. So, first of all, definition of Laplace transform. Any time signal can be transformed into a Laplace domain. So, Laplace transform x of t is represented in Laplace domain by x of s and according to definition, we will multiply first of all x of t with e to the power minus st and this product is going to be integrated over the range from minus infinity to infinity. But in this question, x of t is having two different amplitudes and in two different ranges like in between 0 to 1 amplitude is 1. And in between 1 to 2 amplitude 2. So, of course, this integration will be not a single, will not be a single. Of course, we are going to find out integration but twice. So, let us see the next integration values or the next procedure of this graph. Now, as I told you earlier, x of t is available from 0 to 2, but in between 0 to 2, it changes its value from 1, 0 to 1, and 1 to 2. Means what? Initially in 0 to 1 its amplitude was 1 and from 1 to 2 its amplitude is 2. So, of course the integrations will be now 2. We are going to integrate x of t twice. So, in first integration the time limit is from 0 to 1 and the amplitude is 1 whereas in next integration time limit is 1 to 2 where x of t is having amplitude 2. Now, just simple in first part the constant is 1. So, if you can, you can take it outside, but there is no use because it's the constant value is 1. But in case of second case, in this case, the constant value is 2. So, we can, it is not possible to ignore it. Of course, we need to multiply this, but our, we, we are going to write it outside the bracket. And then, integrate this e to the power minus st over the range from 0 to 1. First of all, 
integration of st is e to the power minus st the integration we are going to integrate this function with respect to time t on both these sides so of course on both these sides the integration of e to the power minus st will remain same so first of all the integrating we are going to integrate this function with respect to time t exponential function if we want to integrate exponential function and uh, if its constant is minus s then of course the integration of exponential function is exponential function upon its constant so here the constant is minus s the integration of exponential function e to the power minus st upon we are going to write its constant value which is minus s on both the sides we have done the same thing but next is we are going to substitute the limits in first case the limit was 0 to 1 and in second the limit is 1 to 2 first of all upper limit will be substituted first and then lower limit in this case also upper limit substitute first and then lower limit the first limit is 1 so this t is replaced by 1 because we are integrating this function with respect to time t that's why we are going to substitute the values of limits in t so t is replaced by 1 so what you will get e to the power minus s into 1 which is e to the power minus s then we will substitute the lower limit which is 0 if we substitute t if this t is replaced by 0 then this power of exponential function will become 0 now look at it on second side here the t is replaced by 2 so upper limit is 2 so this t is replaced by 2 and then lower limit is 1 then this t is replaced by 1 but first of all upper limit substitute upper limit then plus minus sign then substitute lower limit so upper limit is 2 so i'm going to write e to the power minus 2s and lower limit is 1 so this t is replaced by 1 so and another part will be e to the power minus s and in the denominator we have minus s minus s now the next step will be you can take minuses common also so if you take now look at here here the base value of both the brackets is same which is a minus s but now what i'm going to do i'll shift this minus sign or i will multiply numerator denominator by minus sign you, you can say you can shift this minus sign on numerator side also or else another way is just multiply and denominator numerator by minus n both are nothing but the same thing so if we multiply numerator and denominator by minus n denominator minus n will get cancelled but in the numerator side e to the power minus s will have minus sign but this plus will get plus sign similarly on next hand also e to the power minus 2s will get minus sign whereas e to the power minus s will get plus sign but just multiply these two inside the bracket also so what you will get first part we have e to the power minus s will get minus whereas 1 will get plus but after multiplying these two with e to the power minus 2s what will get minus twice of e to the power minus 2s as i told you this minus sign is shifted over here so this side will be plus and this will become a twice of e to the power minus s now just do one thing just find out the common terms here e to the power minus s we have and here we have twice of e to the power minus s here the sign is minus here we have sign is plus and the value is 2 so just simply subtract 1 from 2 what you will get a 1 which is e to the power minus s and 1 is as it is written as it is and this twice of e to the power minus 2s which i have in minus n is written as it is and this is the laplace transform of that graph so my suggestion is first of all try to write the equation of a given graph and according to time limits just perform the integration so that it is easy to find out or obtain the result so this is all about the first question first problem so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much